hello hi hi guys welcome back to my channel this is your girl omoyes corner and thank you to all my new subscribers i really appreciate you to my returning subscribers thank you for the continued support thank you thank you and if you're new to my channel and you've been stopping by every now and again please take the time to subscribe like share click on the notification bell so you can get notified each time i drop a video so tonight uh today um today guys i want to talk about um relationships right uh the reason why i want to talk about relationships because you know uh some of the stuff that's been going on online uh, as we know and you know uh, based on conversations as well so i want to start by saying you know men when a man has money it's his option money is the option for guys when they have money they can upgrade you know they say you never really know a man or uh, a man most generally you never really know a man until he has money okay so money is men's power so if you're going this that's why you find that a lot of girls you know when they see find a man who has money everybody wants to get a piece of it right because men have men with money have options it's like a power for them men don't have to be they don't have to look good they don't have to be handsome drop dead gorgeous no if the man has money that's his that's his drop that's him being drop dead gorgeous money is an appeal to women okay so for women it's also very important for you to work on yourself develop yourself don't try and be dating someone where you don't have anything and then trying to go with someone or with a guy who already has everything the balance is not it's not very bad it's not balancing you know what i mean like if you go if you don't have anything and you're going after a man that seemingly has everything he has he has too much power over you, you know. He will wield enormous power over you. So you have to, it's very important that you work on yourself. All the energy you have, work on yourself. Try and put all that uh, 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 work on yourself and not put it on someone else, you know. Don't try and be with someone and be dating them for years. I know this doesn't happen all the time. I know it's not... Um, um, it's not general that you know people who date long term and you know don't get married i know it doesn't happen as often but most of the time when you date there's most of the time it's not advised to date for too long really everyone a man knows what he wants when he sees you he knows what you want you know and when some and a man doesn't have doesn't have any source of income right you shouldn't be trying to date at that point because he's you have to understand that when that man is dating you is because you're available you know because once he gets the money he's going to step up you know that's he's going to break up with you and he's going to move on because he's been with you you don't know if you're really what he wants because he doesn't have it he doesn't have it so you're you're there for him so of course he doesn't have any other option but to stay with you now i'm not saying that this happens all the time but most of the time, that's what happens. I mean, we can see that. You can see it's obvious. It's clear. You know, you see it in Hollywood. You know, it everywhere. Even in regular life, it happens, right? So as women, you have to learn to build on yourself. Know yourself. Know what you want. Get an education if that's what you're pursuing. If it's a skill, develop your skill. Get good at it. Get to a point where you're comfortable with yourself and you're able to make your own earning. Don't wait on anyone. You know, be introspective. And when you have been dating someone and it does not work out, don't rush and get into an, another relationship. Take the time to heal. Be introspective. Look within. Heal because it takes two to tangle. It takes two to be in a relationship and it takes two to break up a relationship so when the relationship ends it's not always it's it takes two people to have a broken relationship so it's not just one person that's at fault it's two people that are at fault so you have to look inwards and that's the opportunity for you to learn certain things about yourself you know to unlearn certain things and get rid of certain things 
You know what I mean? Not every relationship is going to end in marriage. In life, people you meet people for various reasons, multiple reasons. You, As women, you have to understand that when you're dating someone, it may not translate to a marriage. There are no guarantees. Everything is a risk. So if you're getting into a relationship with someone, don't just assume that, oh, well, you know, maybe this is it. Maybe I'm going to get married to this person. No, don't do that because that person may be coming into your life to teach you certain things about you, right? Just like, you know, you're trying to, maybe you're looking for a job, you're job hunting, right? And they ask, they're asking for experience and you don't have an experience in certain areas and certain skills, sort of in a way that's how that's kind of how you know uh relationships are maybe that's not a great example but in a way that's kind of how it is because you don't really know how you are until you're with someone else you don't know how much work you've done until you're with someone else to actually show that yes indeed you have done the work you know so when a relationship breaks up don't be it's okay to feel bad about it for you know but don't stay there it's an opportunity for you to learn about yourself or learn certain things that you have learned and then you know maybe there were some attitudes that came up in the relationship that you didn't even know or you were not aware you had but it came up that's an opportunity for you to address it and say okay no i'm never gonna do this again you know and when you break take the time to heal take as much time don't just jump into the next relationship because when you do that you're hurting yourself you're doing more damage you're not going to heal you cannot get the complete healing if you do that that's not the best way to go about it you you can't you can't uh, um get over the person you're in relationship with just by being with someone else you're just compounding it you're compounding it and keeping it for the day where it will all come crumbling down and you don't want that to happen so as a woman it's very important as a lady work on yourself develop yourself if you're in school focus on school get your necessary degrees get a job i personally would advise get a job before you start dating and if you're dating, don't just assume that, oh, man, maybe this, this, this relationship or, you know, it's going to end up in marriage. Remember, a relationship is not a contract. The same way you start a relationship by mouth, by, you know, saying, hey, I, I want to be in a relationship with you, is the same way that relationship is going to break up if it's not meant to be. So remember, don't invest too much. Don't put everything in a relationship. You should be putting everything in a marriage when you meet the person that is right for you. Invest in a marriage, not a relationship. A relationship does not have any uh, um, earnings. Does, there's no investment, you know. There's no yield on investment. There's no profit to make. You know from it it's not as if it's monetary terms but you get you guys get what i'm trying to say like don't waste your time trying to build a relationship like some people will take out loans because they want to assist someone in the relationship or you know they will give everything all of themselves don't do that don't do that you know Relas your relationship is based on you're trying to get to know each other you're trying to see if it's a fit and there's no reason why you should be in a relationship for a very long time. I know sometimes it works for people, but a lot of the times it does not work like that. I've heard stories of people who've been in relationships for 10 years, 12 years, 15 years. I mean, to me, I think that's, that's ridiculous, you know. For some people, that's what they want. That's what they've chosen. But if you want to tell yourself the truth, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. It's better for you to take the time. Do you know fifth? Do you know what you could have done or achieved in fifteen years? In fifteen years, you'd have probably achieved a PhD if you were following a career. You will have a PhD and probably get a fellowship on top of that. So be wise about your time. Be wise about what you're doing with the time that you have. Don't just you know sit in a corner and think that oh it's only when you're in a relationship that your life has meaning no take the time to build on yourself 
and men also should also because men typically do that they're hustling and trying to make money and they should continue to do that because a man will have more options when he has money when he doesn't have money it is the person that is right next to him that will make sense it will be convenient for him but the moment he has why do you think that sometimes some men will make once it's, maybe they didn't have money they were humble you know they were quiet and all of a sudden they have money and they they upgrade the person they were dating they break up with the person and they and they start to date like a slay a slay mama you know i mean we can testify to it even in nollywood and hollywood we see how it happens you know some people just make money and care they just upgrade their partners so you have to as a woman think about that don't think in terms of oh i want to um uh, uh be in a relationship why do you want to be in a relationship you have to be intentional about you what you want and whoever you're going to be with that person has to be intentional too ask them ask them what they want get into the habit of asking a man what do you want you know is it a booty call is it a one night stand you know is it a, do you just want a relationship for what you have be clear be very clear there's nothing to be ashamed or shy about ask these questions because you asking the person is going to make the other person understand that oh this person seems to know what they want and if they're not gonna if they're not you know meant to be in your life at that moment they're gonna walk away you know and if it's someone who's serious and who really wants to be with you genuinely they're going to see the the, the honesty and integrity in you and want to be with you even more you know and it doesn't matter when it happens and it's not going to happen for everybody at the same time be okay be satisfied with just being in your moment living your life enjoying your life doing what you know to do best be satisfied with that find joy in yourself guess what nobody can love you like you like you nobody can love you like you can you are the one who can love yourself more than anybody can so if you cannot even try to love yourself if you cannot find that love within yourself and appreciate you for who you are how is someone else going to appreciate you so you have to love yourself first you have to put in the effort because you know what you want right so if you know you're in that category where you know, you don't believe in anyone coming to waste your time or whatever, then you need to know exactly what you want. And if someone is coming your way, you need to find out from them what they want. Don't let anybody waste your time, man or woman. Don't let anyone waste your time because time is precious. Time is something that once it's gone, you can't get it back. So be very, guard your time jealously. Don't be carried away by relationship. Yeah, you know, oh, feelings of all those feelings. They're temporary. They're temporary. Marriage is the only thing that has a contract. And it's based on trust. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's not necessarily based. Marriage is not necessarily based on love. It's based on loyalty, commitment, trust, communication. The love is all in the midst right in there it's part of it but it's not the first reason why for some people yeah they fall in love and it's worked out for them but not in all cases how often does it happen when you think about it how often does it happen everybody's life is not a cinderella story and not everybody's going to have a story of cinderella not everybody's going to have a celebrity or whatever the popular type of really of wedding or marriage or whatever just all i'm saying is as a woman know who you are it's very that's the very that's the first step that's the first step whatever you're doing focus on it get an education work on yourself develop yourself spend the money on yourself even if you're going to spend money in a relationship if you're going to expend energy in a relationship at least know where you're going know where you're headed understand if it's if it's a it's it's um a, a one-year relationship understand okay it's one year know how much make sure that 
as a guy, make sure that the money you're spending on the woman is, is something that is not going to hurt you when you're spending it. It's disposable income that you, you don't mind spending. The same thing with a woman. Don't put in all your energy in a relationship that you know you can't get back. This is where we have issues where, you know, you, people, women say, oh, my heart is broken. This happened, that happened. There's no need for it. There's no need for it. If you take the time to understand who you are, value your time, work on yourself, develop yourself, figure out what you want. If you're going to date, date with intention. Don't just date anyhow. Don't date because it's the in thing or because your friends are dating or everybody else is dating. Don't do that. Don't do that to yourself. Date with intention. And the same way with a man. There's no need for you to be pouring all this energy and all this money on this girl when you know you, you don't know. And understand that even when you find yourself in relationships, when you decide that, okay, I want to give this person a chance in my life, not every relationship is going to end in marriage. Please, people come into our lives for different reasons. Different reasons. I can say, for instance, that the relationships that I've had in my life is part of what has formed who I am today. I learned a lot from one relationship. It's made me the person that I am today. It's made me value myself. I appreciate, I'm grateful for that relationship because it is part of the, it is part of what has formed the person that I am, that I've become today. It gave me a picture of the kind of person that I should look out for, you know, because in that relationship, that relationship taught me what it means when a guy, when a man really wants to be with you, the type of effort they will put into being with you, how I should be treated like a woman as you know, how, what the expectation he set, he gave me a yardstick by which to measure any man that has good intentions. He gave me that yardstick. And because of that, I'm grateful forever. So some relationships, some people come into your life to teach you what you should know about yourself and who you are. I remember in that relationship, he used to tell me, you're a very strong person. He used to say to me, you have no idea who you are. He used the same things he used to say that now when I think back, I'm like, wow, it seemed like he had a foresight of who I was, but I couldn't see it because I didn't really know myself at that time. And that too, this is also the point. At the time you're dating, you might be in your 20s or even in your teenage years, 18 or whatever. Whenever you are allowed to date, right? You don't know yourself. You don't even know who you are. You don't even know what you want. For me, I would not advise any woman to get married at in their 20s. I will not. Unless there are rare instances where there are girls that are very mature and they will get married and they're already mature. But I would advise if I were to do it, if I were to, if I had a daughter, that's what I would, I would not let them marry at that age. Because at that age, you barely know who you are. You don't even know what you want. You're still playing. There's still a lot of play in your head. When I was 25, all I could think about was how to play, you know, and how to have fun. That's all I wanted to do. So, and again, and I'm saying this, it's not casting stones, please. I don't want anybody to misunderstand this video. I'm just sharing this because I think that there's certain people that need to hear this. Please, spend your time very wisely. Don't just throw it away. When a relationship comes, embrace it. If you've given yourself the opportunity to date. But understand that it may not, not all relationships are going to end in marriage. People come into your life for different reasons. They might come to show you who you are, to expose who you are to you. They might come 
to point out lessons that you need to learn. They might come to strengthen you. So people are there for the reasons that they are there. Just be mindful of it and don't assume that everyone that you have the opportunity to date is likely going to end up in a marriage. It's, it's not in all cases. Okay? So I'm going to leave this video here for now. And like always, please share your comments uh, with me. And um, I look forward to reading from you guys. And I will certainly see you on my next one. And before I go, please don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment. Okay? Thank you.